Have you seen? Have you followed our, our our politics in Canada? Yeah, you're Trudeau guy. I like that guy. You do? I do. I like Why? that guy. Because he's young and he seems smart. And, and he has nice hair. He's got beautiful hair. He, he, he boxed. Um, he did. He, he did, did do that. Right. But what's bad about him? Uh, to the extent that I think we both despise uh, social justice warriors, the ostrich brigade, the, yes. the, the, the regressive left. The, so explain the ostrich brigade. The ostrich brigade is a term that I popularized, which basically refers to folks who have their head deep in the sand so that they can't really except some of the most basic regularities in the world, right? Uh, you know, there is no link between Islam and any terrorist act anywhere in the world. And to suggest that, otherwise would be Islamophobic. Exactly. So yeah. somebody who, who exhibits this type of behavior <coughs> is a is right. exhibiting ostrich logic. Right. So Justin Trudeau is the kingpin of the ostrich brigade. Damn it. Yeah. So he, he, he basically, his dad... His dad uh, instituted as part of our our Canadian ethos multiculturalism. And multiculturalism means two different things. Multiculturalism, that's used in everyday language, means like many cultures. Right? LA is multicultural, meaning it's pluralistic. But multiculturalism, as a political philosophy, is actually a very dangerous idea. Right? It basically says that when immigrants come into your land, they don't have to assimilate within your cultural values. Rather, you allow everybody to get ghettoized because who are we to judge the values of another? Ghettoized? Yeah, like, you know. You mean like a Dominican community? The Dominican or community. Here, here are the community. Muslims are here, the no Sharia zone here. here well, why are is the, that? But ghetto's like a poor. No, no, no. Uh, no, ghettoized in the sense that everybody who is of the same background lives in that space. It doesn't, but that's not a ghetto. I mean, the term is used in different ways. It's not ghetto in the in the sense of hip hop ghetto. Is there a term ghetto? Yeah. Is that like a, a legitimate to, to be term? Yeah. What does that mean? Because I've always I, I don't I mean I'm just saying that I've, ghetto in this country is right. always referred to as a poor community. Uh, no, I think it has a broader meaning, at least oh. as I understand it. So, okay. for, so, for example, if you say you're ghettoizing people into different areas of the city, I've never even heard it as a verb. There you go. Yeah, here we go. New immigrants still tended to ghettoize in the cities. So is that? I it? mean, it's exactly what well, I just the, defined. Yeah. So Justin Trudeau, at one point when he was uh, a member of parliament, someone had said that things like uh, fem- female genital mutilations and child brides and honor killings was uh, the type of barbarism that we don't need in Canada. And Justin Trudeau's position at the time was, how dare you? Use the word barbarism in describing other people's cultures, right? So, oh, he, so he wasn't offended no. by having women's clitorises cut. He was offended by people who described that behavior as barbaric. So he is the king of the ostriches. Followed some of our uh, debates regarding uh, allowing, well, not open door, but allowing massive number of Syrian immigrants. No, I haven't followed your debates, so, but I so, see what's going on in other countries. Well, so in, of course, in Europe, they look at our issue and they, they sort of say, come on, are you serious? We have you know 800,000 uh, migrants coming through to Germany. Mm-hmm. You're complaining about 25,000. Well, look what happened with Cologne. Yeah, exactly. The mayor of Cologne, after these attacks on New Year's Eve, was telling women to dress different right. and stay away from men. Ostrich brigade. That's fucking insane. I mean, that that is a, a, a very culturally diverse area that ex- has existed in a very peaceful way for a long time until all of a sudden they let in all these immigrants and they're having a massive problem with women being sexually assaulted. Yep. So instead of protecting these women and trying to do their best to ramp up the police force or do something to stop it or make sure the people are safe or really put it put out there that, look, you're in a new fucking place. And if you want to assimilate in our culture, you got to leave these fucking women alone or we're going to get rid of you. Everyone who does anything to women in our country, we're going to get rid of you. Right. You can't be here and make people feel unsafe instead of doing that. But see, that's – so one of the reasons why I'm very concerned about the 25,000 that are coming in, people say, well, come on, how many of them are likely to be ISIS members? But the, the danger is not only pe- – people only think of ISIS members as a danger, right? But when you've got 25,000 people of, of whom a very large majority will adhere to certain values – that are perfectly antithetical to ours, right? What are your views on homosexuals? What are your views on religious minorities, on, on right. Jews? If we let in 25,000 Syrians, <laughs> uh, statistically speaking, will they, are they, is it more likely or less likely that, that it'd be anti-Semitism? I mean, that's an empirical statement that we could test, right? So 
it's not only about the fact that how many of these 25,000 are ISIS members, it's how many of these 25,000 people will hold values that are perfectly congruent with ours. Right. And so we have every right without having the threat of being called racist and Islamophobe over our head to engage in a discussion on how do we vet these people? I mean, how, right. how do you find out what percentage of those are going to hold views that are grotesque to us? And then should we be letting them in? Yeah. Well, what are the what are the options? I mean, what? how could you possibly find out what their views are? You would have to sit down with each one individually and quiz them, and then you would have to verify their, their claims or their answers. Well, at the very least, I, I would argue that <coughs> you should never be allowed under the guise of your religious practice to espouse, you know, hateful things, right? I mean, uh, if, if you go to a house of worship and that house of worship is praying certain things that you and I would consider genocidal hatred, right. uh, then my right to be free of the genocidal hatred that's coming my way supersedes your right to practice your religion of genocidally hating me. Uh, right. and so that, that simply has to be the rule. And if we don't wake up to that reality, uh, we're going to have problems. Uh, yeah, I, I would say that that's a very reasonable statement. And I think that there's a lot of people in this country that like to say things like what you were claiming Trudeau said about culture. Like, how dare you criticize their culture? Their, culture is a bullshit word. It's human behavior. You, you're looking at human behavior. Some human behavior is acceptable, some is not. And if it's acceptable in other countries to eat people, guess what? It's not acceptable here. You can't right. cook people. You can't eat them. We don't allow. 